Yes, sir. Right on, um, man. Right on. Yeah. I, I just went through the videos, uh, which is nice. Yeah, man. Thanks for thanks for connecting and thanks for reaching out, man. And I've been on I've been on Karcher for a couple years now, and I, I built some businesses through it. And you know, as you as you found me on YouTube, I, I built my YouTube channel around it. You know, for the past year year and a half, I just been putting out a bunch of Karcher videos. So I, I kind of, I, I use it to build my YouTube channel. I use it to create a, an extra stream of income, which is the affiliate program. And then I use it to build my business, which is, um, I have a social media agency and, and now I'm selling stuff online. So I, I do all that through Kartra. So yeah, man, whatever questions you have or, or however you, you know, you're thinking to, to strategize and, and set it up for your business. That's what, that's what I'm here for, bro. You got me, you got me. So you can either you can either share your screen and, and I can walk you through your your side of it all or or I can you know just share my screen and show you you know my account whatever you want to do bro well I'll just go off of what you found is the easiest way for the process I yeah mean, for sure is what you, whatever you say um go ahead and share your screen that way I can kind of get you used to you know clicking on a few things in in, in the in the in the dashboard so I hit the green arrow up or button. Yes, sir. Yeah, for sure. Did I do that right? Um, it should ask you which part of your screen you want to share, or um, if not, you may have to click it again. That green button right below it says "Share Screen." Okay. Did Did it go through? Uh, no. Not yet. Let me see. So I click the green button and this is my second time using Zoom. So yeah, it's all good. Man. I'm not it's, even all good. Good. it's all good. So I click. Okay. I, I click the green button and then there's a, a window that pops up and it says select yeah, a yes, window so, so, yeah. or an application that you want to share. Go ahead and do, just go ahead and do whichever one it's, it's currently defaulted to. Just click on OK or click on Proceed or whatever it says there. Oh, OK. Now I see it. Awesome. Perfect. OK, cool. So now I see it's coming on right now. Network. Perfect. Now I see your Zoom, your Zoom tab. You can close that one out. That We won't need this, this page right here, this tab, the Zoom one. Oh. Yeah, you can close that one out. But go ahead and click okay. on, 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 yeah, you can see if you can X out. If, if anything, click on Open, and, and then you can just close it. Okay, let me see. Open. Yeah, perfect. And then you could just close out that tab. So we won't uh, hit, the, that. hit the X button. Okay. Yeah. Did that work? Um, the Zoom, this, this Zoom tab right here, you could just close it out at the top. Yeah, right there. There you go. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, cool. Yeah, so open up, open up your account, your Kartra account, and I'll kind of just, you know, walk you through it and, and kind of just show you how I approach it and just so you, show you some basics. Okay. And then I also have you on, on my, on my, I have you in my email sequence for affiliates. So now you'll start to receive different tutorial videos, videos that I don't put on YouTube. These will be videos, you know, specifically for, for people that are on Kartra. So okay. um, you'll start getting a handful of emails every few days from me as well. Just kind of walking you through from A to Z, you know, my, my whole approach to it. Yeah. They, they have a uh, five, step process of five different areas where they they help you with Kartra. It's it to me the layout and all that is is, is uh it's 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 comparable to a lot of stuff did did you uh did you want to uh just for time's sake did you want to go through Kartra? did you want to start on the whatever facebook? bro whatever whatever you need me for whatever you need me for i got you like what do you what do you you got questions on facebook you got questions on Kartra? Whatever, whatever it was, you need. It was mostly the the Facebook uh, okay ad campaign that I set up. The that's uh okay. That was the most uh, you know difficult thing for me. That that was uh kind of like the cardinal thing that I was hoping for. Okay, perfect, man. Let Let's look at this real quick. Click on click on edit. So right below best moving, click on edit right below. So you'll click um. You'll see the edit. Yeah, there you go. Edit right there. Oh, there's an edit right here. Yeah. No, down, down. Click on edit oh. right there. Oh, that. Oh, okay. Right yeah, there we go. Okay. Perfect. 
perfect. So let, let me see this real quick. We'll go, we'll just go tab by tab. Um, but this right here, you have, you have set up conversions. Perfect. So the million dollar question is, did you set up a custom conversion? Uh, custom. Yes. Could, because that custom conversion would be around the thank you page. So as I click on learn more on your ad okay. and I, and I go to your page and I enter my name and email or whatever you're asking for, when I click on submit, I'm then taken to that thank you page. I'm then taken to that second page. That second page needs to be set up as a custom conversion. So if you didn't, if you didn't do that, then go ahead and click on that second um, line up to the top, that second best moving help leads. Yeah, click on that one. Yeah, that second one. Yeah, click on that one. So if anything, you probably just have it set up under, under, the, under Facebook's lead um, conversion, which I'll see right here. So scroll down. Yeah, so if we just, let's see where it's at. Okay, so you have it manual. I'd go with automatic, that, that's one, but don't change it now, don't change it now. Um, and that's another thing, as you, as you set these ads live, you don't wanna really edit. Like you don't wanna, you don't wanna, you don't wanna edit it, cause that's gonna completely throw it off. Um, you don't wanna turn it off and then turn it back on, that throws it off as well. So the thing about Facebook ads, it's, it's a machine. And once you throw a wrench in that machine, for whatever reason, and that's an edit, for example, or that's turning it off and then turn it back on. That's throwing a wrench in the machine. It throws it off. And it throws it off in a way where your ad cost just increases. That's all. It, it, your ad oh, cost will end up increasing. So don't do it now, but in the future, you for sure want to just go with automatic. Um, I used to go manual a lot, but then now, now I've been taught to just, to just go automatic. As Facebook's machine continues to get better, they know exactly where to place that ad. Whereas in manual, we're trying to tell Facebook where to place it, but Facebook automatic, they, they know where to place it and they're not going to blow the money on, on, on different, different placements that are not performing. They'll end up spending money on the placements that are only performing. So going automatic is, is what you want to do in the future. But let me look at the conversions part It's it's either up or down. So just keep scrolling down or we'll, we'll go back up. But, um, Yes, yeah, see, scroll down, scroll down. We're looking for the actual, um, the box where you chose. Okay, so you got, you got landing page views right here, um, which could be fine. Click on show, click on show more, more options. And then just scroll down. Okay, so when you get charged is when someone actually just sees it or passes through it. Okay, so scroll back up. I'm just looking for the, 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 um, the conversion event. Okay, so where's that at? Let me see real quick. Okay, so you got it right there. Best moving help leads. Okay, cool. So you did you did set up a custom conversion because that, that's it right there. The best moving help leads. Perfect. Okay, good. So then you're good. So then let's X out of this. All right, let's just go to the third one. Go to the third one. Conversions, best. Yeah, that, that one right there. So then you're driving it. What what type of what page or you you still have the other software set up, right? So this is yeah, this it's is the still operating. Page. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. So then, this link right here. Let's just let's just take a look at this at this page real quick, and I'll just kind of give it's you some still, tips if needed on the page. Okay. It's still spinning real quick. Yeah. Yeah. It'll it'll take a little a little while. So. Um, once it pulls to the right, 
then we'll open it up in the news feed and we'll just click on learn more from there and we'll see where it takes us. Okay, perfect. So then there's that and then um, click on, so click on the, that square right above the images, you have that arrow, that down arrow up right there. Yeah, click on that. Yeah, click on that and then go to Facebook desktop newsfeed. Okay. Yeah, view on Facebook, Facebook desktop newsfeed. Yeah, click on that one right there, bam. Okay, cool. So right here, you'll see a live shot of the ad in the news feed. So if you just scroll down, you'll see it. Um, it there it goes right there. So then go ahead and click on get quote. And one thing, one thing that has been proven as well is the buttons. So Facebook, you know, they come out with stats showing which button is clicked on the most. And the button that's clicked on the most is learn more. So even though in your case, yeah, quote is what you want to give out and it makes sense. Click on it, get quote like that makes sense to me, but, but it's not clicked on the most. Um, learn more is so more. that would be another tip for your next ad is to, is to change that to learn okay. more. Don't do it now, okay. but in your, in your future ads. So we're, we're coming straight over here and you have your pixel on this page, right? Um, or, or do you know? I was writing those two things that you told me okay, down. Cool. Um, the pixel. Uh, do you know if you installed is, it on this page? Yes. Yes, I did. The pixel is. Uh, let me see. Um, go ahead and go ahead and, and take that link at the very, very top. Like that link, get.bestmovinghelp.com. Take that link right there yet. Yeah, copy all that all the way to the dot com. Copy that and then shoot it to me real quick. Shoot it to me in the chat. In the in the um yeah, copy it and then just shoot it to me in the zoom in the zoom chat. You should see a, a chat button right there. Okay, let's take so a if you look open here. up uh, open up zoom. Yeah, if you come back to zoom or or maybe that, that menu bar may just be sitting there on your screen. You'll see it. I won't be able to see it, but Normally that menu bar is right there and then you can just click on, um, if you got to click on more. view options or click on more, you'll see chat and you can just shoot it to me in the chat. Perfect. Got it. Okay, cool. So let me, let me open this up on my end real quick. Um, because on, on my end, it's I can, on this page. What's that? I think I did put it on on on. I'm I, I get conf, uh, a little turned around between my my uh, my landing page and my website page. Um, okay. I think this is my my. I actually put it on both though. I put the I put the the pixel on both anyhow. Okay. Okay. So. Here, okay. So then, let me let me share let me share my screen. Let let me let's come back. So just go ahead and click on stop share, and then let me just kind of show you and just give you some give you some advice on 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 this page, on the landing page, because because looking at your Facebook ad site, it looks like everything is set up. You got the pixel, you have the custom conversion set up, which we'll go deeper into the custom conversion. I, I from what I see there. It looks like you have it up, but, but I'm going to dig deeper into your account and really see it if it's set up, which we'll get back to. But just, just on this page right here, this is where we're taking people right here, right? This is the landing page. So ain't nothing really wrong with this at all. Um, what I wouldn't do is I probably wouldn't put the phone number, like this phone number up here at the top, that doesn't need to be there because the whole, the whole purpose of the Facebook ad is to get them, it's, it's direct response marketing. So it's to get you to click and then enter your name and email. It's not really to get you to click and read more about what we got going on. Right. Now, now, now some, some, some do it that way, but those are people that have more money to spend. Not that you don't have money. I don't even know your budget. You can have all the money in the world for all I know, 
but but for most of us that don't have a ton on on facebook ads or a ton just yet on 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 paid advertising we don't want to spend more than we need to those that have a ton those that have big big budgets they can run a facebook ad bring me to a page where there's a ton of information because their whole strategy is to simply facebook pixel me put me in a custom audience and then just keep retargeting me that's just more money and 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 that's that's the overall strategy but in the beginning if i don't have a big budget budget i need to get you straight to the point so when you see my facebook ad and you click on get quote or you you click on learn more it needs to come to a page which is pretty much just this now down here it's not that this is hurting it but it's 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 not that it's hurting it but but most of this is really not even needed and and then again the phone number the phone number is not needed because i don't i'm not running the ad to get you to my page so you can see a phone number and pick it up and call i'm running an ad so you can come to my page i can get you to click a button and schedule it that way because right. because that's going to allow me to track my ad cost like if you're running an ad and people are picking up the phone and calling unless you're asking hey how did you see us or how did you find us oh it was from a facebook ad okay cool and then unless you're making note of that you're not going to really yes. be able to track those numbers and at the same time those numbers are for sure not going to be tracked in your ads manager because that was a person that didn't go through the whole process they just got here picked up the phone and called you whereas if they would have if they would have clicked enter their name and email then you'd be able to track that through Facebook and look at the dashboard and say, okay, damn, we got 50 leads today. And, and, and those are all tracked the right way. Right? So all I'm saying is that the phone number is not, is not needed. Um, and so if I come back over here again, if I come back over here again, I click on request your move. So you're bringing me to a page and this page right here, thank you for choosing best moving help um complete basic info form just below so if i click on that it's not taking me anywhere so oh, i have to then oh. scroll down and then and then and then if i click on that it, it's not taking me anywhere okay so, it's this part here yeah so so you're losing me right here and then another thing i don't want my social media icons on here because again i'm running a facebook ad the last okay. thing i need you to do is come here and then all of a sudden just click on twitter and follow me on twitter it's like i didn't i don't i didn't pay to have you do that right okay. like, I, that's not the objective okay. i ain't trying to get you to follow me on facebook no man i'm trying to get you to right. fill out the damn form i'm trying to get you to schedule a call right so yes so this right here this email is not necessary these social media icons. Now you can show that after I opt in. Like if I come to your landing page, I see that Facebook ad, I click, I come to the landing page, I enter my name and email and I schedule an appointment. Then it takes you to the, to the thank you for scheduling page. Then you can show me your social media icons. Then you can show me testimonies. Then you can show me all this other stuff that you may provide after I've already opted in. But, but the least amount of information, get to the point. I, I saw the ad. I click, I come here. This headline needs to get to the point where it's just one button, I click on it, and I'm entering my name and email. Or I'm clicking on it and it's taking me to a calendar where I'm now able to schedule an appointment. But if I'm coming here, this is where you're losing everybody. Thank you for choosing. If I click on that, it don't take me nowhere. If I click on that, it don't take me nowhere. Um, and then I gotta scroll down and then if I click on that, it don't take me nowhere. Um, so, so, so if anything, you got the ad part right, and we'll dig deeper into the Facebook ad site, into your ad manager. We'll dig deeper into it. But from what I just saw real quick, that ad is running right. Um, there's a few things I want to see real quick. But if anything, this is where you're losing everybody. Okay. You're, you're losing everybody on the, on the landing page. And to tell you the truth, man, I'm going to be 100 with you. This page is trash. Like, we need to get rid of this. Like you need to cancel this service. Like I'm telling you, Kartra is is everything, bro. Like I'm not I'm not just trying to sell you on it. Like Kartra is the one software you need. Like I I'll help you create a a, a nice ass page, which which will out convert this one for sure. Like this ain't this ain't where we want to be taking people. 
at all, at all, at all. Like this ain't the page. So we need to just up, up our game as far as the aesthetics of the page. Um, and, th and then just have these buttons that actually, so for example, request your move. I land here, I see the ad, I come here, I, cl I click on request your move, right away that takes me to your cart your calendar. Right away, this right here, calendar. Right away, and then boom, I'm scheduling my call, I'm, I'm scheduling my appointment on your calendar right then and there. That's when we're crushing it. That's when Rob's waking up every day to five, six, seven, eight appointments that were just man automatically scheduled without him you know so so taking them to a so they, so, so they didn't go ahead so from that page from the first page to this page because i was setting this up as a thank you uh mm -hmm. you know from here from this landing page mm -hmm. clicking here sending them to the thank you that was more so uh you know um imagery wise i get it i was just trying to keep everything simplistic it was more so uh, I guess structure for me, I was trying yeah. to maintain yeah. structure. Yes. Uh, I, I, I'm off as far as the number, but from that page to, to this page, this was more of like saying, Hey, thank you. And then just below. Yes. You know, and, and then I tried to keep it a one page yes. uh, so that they didn't really have to do a whole bunch of, you know, song and dance. Yeah. No, you got the right idea. You got the right concept. You got right. Everything. But, but when I click on this button, you should be asking me for my name and email. Or when I click okay. on this button, you should be taking me to a calendar. And then when I schedule, okay, Tuesday at 3 p.m., submit. Then I'm taken to a thank you page. I'm taken to that thank you page after you've scheduled an appointment. Okay. So, so in this case, I haven't so, even scheduled uh anything. Mm -hmm. or given up any information and I'm already taken here. Okay. So it's, it's this entire funnel, the landing page, the thank you page that is, that is throwing off the ad. Okay. Um, for, for the moving, because of the, the nature of that particular industry, mm -hmm. I want more so their basic information mm -hmm. so that, uh, you know, I could reach out to them more so than them uh, scheduling an appointment with me. Okay. Yeah, okay. for sure. For sure. Okay. That could be, you could, and you can ask for any questions you want. So for example, if I land here and I click on request your move, a form should pop up and you can okay, ask so, me my name, email. So, and then, so okay. this form down here at the bottom should be at the top. That's what this form is. Well, a quick, re what, what you can expect, once we get your basic info, a quick response would be email simplicity. There, so I, I don't even know what to do, like as a consumer, I should say, like as the person that lands here, what do I do next? Like there's no, there's no, so it's, there's nothing, you know what I mean? Like there's okay. no form to fill out. So this, this, uh, this submission box here where it says name, email, phone number. Yeah, this right here, to tell you the truth, bro, I'm going to keep it real. I didn't even know what the heck this was until, until oh. this very second. Okay. So if I, like I'm keeping it real. If okay. I didn't know what the hell this was, I, now I'm reading it. Name, email, phone, choose service, moving. Like now I'm reading it. Bro, I looked at this already five times, and I didn't even know what the hell that was. <laughs> Seriously, until you said that, and I'm like, "Damn, okay, there's the form." So it's like, hey, shit, David, right? So, so let me ask you a question: Should I move that to the top? So it's more, no, bro. We should move this or? in the trash can. Like, we don't need it. We need a different form. We, we need to cancel this service, bro. Like, okay. like we need to create a new one through Kartra, man. And I got you. I'm gonna help you with that. <laughs> this is okay. this is not how we want to do it at all. But 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 to answer uh, your question, to to again, I'm saying everything respectfully. You're my boy. Like I'm gonna help you with this. But yes, but here's sir. here's what I'm saying. Like if anything, this form is what I see when I click this first button. So when I click this first button, it should pop up in front of my face. It does not allow me to go to the next page until I fill out that form. 
So I should not be coming here and then have to scroll down. Okay, cool. There's where I put my name in. No, I should have, this should have popped up the moment I clicked on that first button. And then once I submit, okay. then you take me to this thank you page. So you have the right idea. It's just, yeah, everything's in the wrong place and it okay. doesn't flow. It doesn't flow. And it's, it's way more, it's way more information than, than, than is even needed. Um, okay. We need to just dumb it down. We need to clean it up and we need to make it flow. Landing page, click the button, enter your information, then come to my thank you page. And what I would do, bro, like, I don't know, like, I don't, I don't know if you're, if you're, if you, if you're wanting to put your face out there, some businesses, you know, don't have a face to it and they're just, you know, behind a logo. But if you, if you're the type where it's like, okay, yeah, man, I do. I, I don't mind putting my face to the brand. If, if, if you are that type of person, then you, there should be a video of you right here. Hey guys, thank you so much for opting in. My name is Robert. I am the executive. I am the vice president. I am the president. I'm the founder, whatever. I am the freaking mover, whatever the heck you want to title yourself. But I would have a 30 second video right there. Hey guys, thank you so much. This is Robert. I am super excited that you guys chose us and opted in for more information. Here's what you can expect next. So rather than trying to tell me that in freaking in, in, in text, what you can expect, why not tell me that in a 30 second video? Okay. Now that's just, that's just what I would, I would suggest. Like I, like I would highly, highly suggest that, but if you don't want to put yourself out there like that, then, then, then whatever, we'll just go with text and it is what it is. But to, to so, have an even higher conversion rate of a real human being showing me right there, that would, that would make your conversion rate even higher. Okay. So just um, a little bit more detailed to what I'm doing. So, um, you know, I, I started a moving company, but uh, a lot came along with it um, as far as uh, just different things. Yeah, yeah, um, for sure. But anyhow, the, this right here, I realized I just want to be a bridge for movers. So I set this up gotcha. and I, I gotcha. made gotcha. connections, gotcha. you know, with uh, moving companies that will be buying my leads. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, okay. So then... To tell you the truth, if, if, if that's the model, why not, why not increase the value and, and increase the, the cost of that lead by simply giving them an appointment? So forget about just selling you a lead, bro. I'm going to sell you an appointment. So I'm, bringing, I'm driving the traffic. They're coming to my landing page. They're scheduling an appointment. So how much is that worth to you, right? Like you're right. negotiating on, you know, like I, if I was a moving company and I'm, you know, and you're coming to me, I would spend more for that scheduled appointment than I would for that lead. Okay. You feel me? Like yeah. I, yeah. And, and that's simple. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That's simple. It's taking you to a landing page and clicking that button to schedule your move date. So rather than, oh, I, no, I get what you're saying. You know here's, I mean? here's, a, here's a little perspective to it. Mm -hmm. The only reason why um, it's set up as a lead is because you have to gather post information about the move before you can schedule the move. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. You, you okay. got to know one bedroom, two bedroom, upstairs, any heavy items. So mm. you have to make that... Um, you know, so that's why I didn't set it up as appointments. Okay. I set it up. Okay. So, yes, so, sir. so whatever you're trying to do, bro, just know that Kartra can do that. And just know that I got your back. I will help you do that. I'm just trying to add my two cents and, 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 and share my perspective. But again, you know, your business better than I do. You know, your model better than I do for sure. So yeah, stop me whenever the hell I'm wrong. But at the same time, everything, everything, that, that I'm suggesting can easily be done. So for example, I come here, rather than request your move, schedule your move now. They click on that button, a form pops up. And on that form, I can ask them whatever the heck I wanna ask them. So as that form pops up for them to schedule their appointment, their move date, I can ask them, how many bedrooms? When's your move date? 
when do you want to get, get us out there? Like whatever the hell your qualifications are, that could be asked in the form. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're just the type of guy that says, you know, David, no, I need that lead. I'd rather just call them and ask them these questions. That's cool too. But if you really want to automate the damn thing, why not just, because you probably only have a few questions. Like you don't have. Yeah, it's, it's, it's only five of them. It's and, five and questions. And to be honest with you, right. Right. I would throw yep. all that in the form. So as I come over here and create a, a form inside of Kartra, like for example, this form right here, let's just go into this form and I'll just randomly show you. This is when they come to the landing page, they see the Facebook ad, they click schedule your move date now. They click that button and that is a form that is for the calendar. Now we're getting ready to schedule the appointment on the calendar. But before you schedule that appointment, I need to ask you a few questions. And so that's where this can be leveraged. I can over here on a normal opt-in form, it's first name and email normally. But if you're trying to go for appointments, okay, maybe you ask for a phone number. But I can also create a custom field and I can ask for any information I want. How many bedrooms? When's your move date? How fast do you want us out there? Whatever your five questions are could be, could be asked here on the form. And then, okay. and then as they fill out that form, yeah, you could, you could, okay. So there, here's two ways. Those five qualifying questions can be asked on the form and then boom, you get the lead or those five questions could be asked on the form and then they go and schedule the appointment. So it could be, it could be both ways. It could be three ways. And then the third way is you just want name and email. Cause you're going to call them and ask those questions. That's the third way. So there's just, there's just many options. There's three options. Let's just put it that way. There's three options. You can, you can handle it, you know? So whatever you want to do, bro, whatever, whatever is, is your model, you know what I mean? But, so but out, the of the, time, out of the three. So what I was doing is, is I, I have about four or five moving companies uh -huh. that, uh, you know, I was going okay, gotcha, to gotcha, gotcha. have, uh, those five questions are, are uh, core questions for moving mm -hmm. and then, uh, you know, pass on that customer's name, the gotcha. moving details. Gotcha. So that takes me out of the loop. I just gathered the information and then that saves me time. Cause I, but you know, I, I, I put the phone number up to see what was going to get the most response. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, either the, 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 the form that you saw at the bottom or the phone number. I was trying to kind of do my own little uh, analysis of, uh, you know, but I, I, you know what, it shouldn't be there. You're right. And so it just, let's, let's, so let's forget about the calendar. Let's forget about getting people to schedule an appointment. But when I come to the landing page, I click on the button you can ask me those five questions on that form. Okay. And then I submit and then I go to a thank you page where on this thank you page, then you could tell me what the next step is. You're going to, you're going to expect a call, make sure you expect a call from, or whatever you're, what you can expect right here, a quick response via email or text, simplicity to the process, flexibility. Okay. So all that's cool, but why don't you tell me something about what really to expect? So after I just gave you my information and I told you three bedroom and I gave up all that info in your five questionnaire opt-in form, as I click on submit, I come to this page up here, what to expect next. You're going to be receiving a call from one of our preferred movers. Tell me exactly what's about to happen next. So, so are they going to re receive a call from you? Are they going to receive a call from them? Are they going to receive an email? Are they going to receive a text? What, they're what gonna you're receive a right call. here they're gonna receive a call right oh, i mean an email or a text from the from the movers okay so then i would it down here it's 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 hidden like i i would just put that straight as a headline up here what to expect up next there. okay you know gotcha so so it's just a straight call to action boom 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 like straight to the point like and it flows okay you know um but yeah, this, this whole page could, could, could definitely do a, use a makeover and it could be easier, <laughs> easier than, than you're trying to make it like easier, you know, like none of this stuff needs to be up here, up here. Now all the images okay. are cool. All the images are cool, but, but this form down here don't need to be there. 
and then this maybe maybe get more a little more specific with it put it up here um, okay and then again on the landing page when I click on that button a form needs to pop up now okay. now also keep in mind the reason why most direct marketers and a direct marketer is any entrepreneur any business owner anyone who's running paid advertisement that's that's direct response marketing social media marketing which which consists of paid marketing facebook ads instagram ads youtube ads that's considered direct response marketing where you're where you have one product that you're marketing it's one and they click they enter their name name and email and they get that information it's one product it's not many products it's it's a it's a direct response to one product with that being said, the majority of direct response marketers, the successful ones, only ask for name and email. And the reason for it is because two reasons for it. Number one reason, it lowers their ad cost. And then number two reason, they end up selling that lead, whatever they're selling on the back end, which is through email automation. So as you come into my page and you enter your name and email, I'm going to get you on the back end. So, so either I'm taking you to a, to a presentation page, you click the button and I come to the next page, I enter my name and email and then boom, I come to the thank you page and normally there's a presentation right here or there's a calendar to get me to schedule a call and then once I schedule a call, you're selling me something more expensive or you're going to now have my email to email me different things in the future. That's where you get me. That's where most people are going to get that sell is via email automation or on this thank you page. So okay. with that being said, here's what I'm trying to say. Here's my point. Majority of marketers ask for name and email because of reason number one, the ad cost is lower. The more information you ask, the higher that lead cost will be. So if you're at five bucks a day, you're going to want to start considering 15 bucks a day. You're going to want to start considering and start testing $20 per day because now you're asking for more information. So maybe, maybe upfront, maybe just name and email is what you want to ask for. So, so the, the, the $5 to $20 price difference. Wh why does the price make a difference? Be because in... now you're asking for more information. Now, now you're making Facebook work even harder, even though it's a machine, even though it's freaking automated, it's a damn machine. It's still, sorting through more people to find that ideal person who's likely to give up more information. Okay. I see what you're saying. So, so now they're just sorting through more people versus, versus sorting through only a handful because majority of people are willing to give up name and email. Like I'll give up name and email on anything, but the moment that person is asking for a phone number, that's a different type of person. The moment that person is asking for my address, that's a different type of person. Now we're talking on the front end. I see the Facebook ad, I click on get quote, I come to the landing page. This is where the information is being, is being asked. So if I'm asking for more information upfront on this landing page, that lead cost will be higher. But at the same time, that's not, that's not anything to be afraid of. Like if, if, the, if the ROI is there on the back end, well then shit, it don't even matter. If I'm spending 20, 20 bucks a day, but I'm flipping these leads and I'm, and I'm, and I'm, I'm, two X in it, three X in it, five X in it. If I'm, if I'm spending 20 bucks a day and I'm making a hundred a day, well then shit, I'll do that all day. So, so I'm not saying it in a way to be afraid of it. No, not at all. But, but at the same time, I need you to start thinking that way because now if you ask for more information, then, then, then that's going to be, you know, you're going to see a difference in ad cost okay. and, 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 and maybe not go $5 daily budget. Maybe, maybe look at it as a weekly campaign and, and, and let's say, for example, if you're spending five bucks a day for seven days, that's 35 bucks. Maybe rather than going five bucks daily, you go $35 lifetime. So that's done in the ad set. That's done on the second step. So rather than going five bucks daily budget, you go $35 lifetime budget. And so now Facebook has the whole week to find that type of a lead. So if, if one day they oh, got to so spend life, 20 lifetime. Okay. So lifetime budget, that means that, that it, it, it's, it, it's based on a week. It, it's based on however many times, how, however you want to set it. Like I'm just giving you a week as an example, you can set lifetime budget for three days. You could set lifetime budget for two weeks. It doesn't matter. But, but what I'm saying is if you're running five bucks a day 
and 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 let's say let's say look let's look at it for the whole month. So if we're spending five bucks a day and we're spending one fifty a month, you don't know exactly what your lead cost is going to be, because now that I'm telling you, okay, if we're going to ask for more information, which I'm suggesting you you might as well. If it's only five questions, why why get them on the phone or why try to get that through an email when I can get those five questions answered right now on a form? You see my right. ad, you come to my page, you click the button, you answer the five damn questions right now. I don't need to call you. Like answer these questions now right. or, don't, or don't submit it. Now again, that right. would be worth it, but yeah, that will cost a little more. But here's what I'm saying. You don't know the cost of that lead just yet. You can look at your leads right now. You can look at your ads right now and look at the lead cost. You can look at, if you've captured leads, we can look at that for sure right now. That lead cost is what we need to know if we were to start asking for more questions. But, but here's what I'm saying on the, on the lifetime and the daily. If we're running five bucks a day for a month, there's 150. But, but you're giving Facebook a cap. You're giving them a $5 per day cap. Your lead is going to cost more than that because now we're asking for more questions. We're asking for more answers. We're asking more questions. So our lead cost will be higher than $5 for sure. So I don't want to cap Facebook at $5 because they're not going to find me any leads today. So, so what you want to do is change it to lifetime. So I would change it to lifetime budget 150. So I would run it for 30 days. I'd set the calendar. So when you go to lifetime budget versus daily budget, daily budget, there's no calendar. On a lifetime budget, we now have the calendar. So now I can set it. Okay, $5 a day. I was planning on running it for a month. I was already planning on spending 150. But rather than capping it at $5 a day, I'm going to let Facebook do their thing. And I'm going to change it to lifetime budget. And I'm going to schedule the calendar. I'm going to have it set for a 30-day period. And I'm going to give them, I'm, I'm, I'm going to just let them spend 150. And so that now gives you the ability to really find the cost of that lead. If, if you end up spending, you know, 15 bucks a lead, well, at least Facebook was able to find that lead and it was worth it. And everyone wins because again, even if it was 15 bucks a lead, bro, you're going to flip it and make a hundred, 200 or whatever the hell you're selling it for 50 bucks, whatever. Even if you're spending 20 bucks per lead and flipping it for 50, there's still a $30 profit. But, right. but we're not going to know that being on $5 daily budget. Okay. You know what I mean? Um, like, yes, sir. So um, it, it was interesting because within less than 24 hours, I got a hit on this ad. And, and do you know I haven't got hit since on this setup? Well, well less, than, less than 24 hours. And that's what was making me wonder maybe I set up the ad campaign wrong. So it's been running for over 30 days now. Oh yeah, man. Shut, shut, shut it off. Let me, let me, let's go back to the ad. Let's look at it again. Go ahead, go ahead and share okay. your screen. You there? Yes. Okay. I'm here. Oh, okay. Yeah. So where are we at? Pull up, pull up the ads manager if you can. Pull up that tab okay. at the top. So sorry about that. Let's go to no, it's all good, man. So then let's let's go to let's go to let's go to click on those dots to the very left. Let's look at the, the custom conversions real quick. Here. Yeah. And then we'll look at the numbers once we're done. But click on click on events manager. Yeah, right there at the top, events manager. And if there's that zoom menu bar in your way, I don't know if it is, but if there is, you can always drag it and move it out the way. Oh, you can? Yeah, you can click, oh, okay. drag, and, and just move it. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that. So in here. In here, there's a few different metrics, but what we really want to look for is, is the custom conversion. So click on, you'll see a blue triangle to the left once this loads. Yes, it, it did. It did. Um, and I'm going to double check it right here to, to see if it's the right pixel, which it should be. But okay, so this, your pixel right here, and it's 1814. It's 1814, the last four digits of it. Let me um, let me check 
real quick the one that I pulled up. So the one that I, yeah, 1814. Yeah. Same pixel. So you're good. You're good with that. Um, so here's, here's, here's a little, a little hiccup. Why is that red triangle there? Hover over that red triangle and see if it gives you any info. Yeah. That it just came up. It just came up. Yeah. Okay. Click on the diagnostics. There's the number one right there that, in the middle of the page, diagnostics. Let's click on that real quick. Okay, so fi find and resolve it. So that's, I mean, that's nothing really. So if you don't want to allow the domain to send events, okay, with this pixel, we suggest going to traffic permissions and creating. Okay, so just go ahead and click on, click on ignore. That doesn't that that doesn't matter as long as the pixels on the page, it doesn't it doesn't matter. So we're good with that. So okay, so just try try to refresh this page. Go to the top and just hit that refresh button. That circle, yeah, there we go. Try to click that and see if it just deletes. Okay, good. We're good. Okay, so now, now click on click on that that blue triangle to the left. Let's click on that and and then let's click on custom conversions. Yeah, click on that right there. Custom conversions. The blue you triangle. triangle. Is that menu bar in the way? No, no. Um... Just click on the blue triangle again, and then and then custom okay. conversions, right there. Okay, custom, there we go. There we go. Okay. Okay. So let's look at this real quick. Um, okay. So it's active. So you're good with that. So there's your there's your custom conversion. Perfect. So you're good with that. Okay. Cool. So then, all it comes down to, bro, is, is those landing pages. You're running the ad the right way. It's just and everything is in place. The pixel, the custom conversion. I don't know exactly your targeting, but at the same time, it, it's not really the targeting because you're only you're only targeting a a, lo, a, a, a a local area, anyways, right? You're not, are you, or are you targeting the whole country? I didn't even ask you that. I uh, know, just local. Yeah, you're targeting just, a specific uh, area, right? Yeah, so, uh, Scottsdale. Um, okay. Tempe, uh, Scottsdale, Tempe, Chandler, Mesa, and Phoenix and uh, Glendale, like. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So what you want to do also is you want to, you want to, and this is where the budget ha is, is going to have to increase, man. Like you're going to have to increase that budget because what okay. you want to do, the, the right way to run Facebook ads is you want to set up the CBO for one. So in the very, very beginning, go back, click on those dots, those dots to the left and click on ads manager. Yeah. Click on that and then go to ads manager. So when you come into a new ad and you smash that green button, it's going to ask you if you want to run it under the CBO, under the campaign budget optimization uh, option. And so that right there is what you want to start getting in the habit of. You want to start running it under that. But to really leverage that, like hit the green button. And you know what, man, before you even do this real quick, let's turn this ad off. Like turn that ad off. You don't need, you don't, I'm going I'm to really advise you to turn this, this ad off, bro. Just, just hit that blue circle and turn it to gray. Okay. So X out of this. Yeah. X out of that. And then, and then click on that blue dot, turn it to gray. And then, um, and then do the same thing for the ad set level. Yeah. You just X out of that. So let's, let's, let's not spend another cent on this ad. Click that off. And then, and then click on the middle tab and do the same thing for the middle tab, ad sets for one campaign. Click on that right there and then shade that to gray and then do it, do it again for the third tab, shade that to gray. You don't have to check the box, but just go ahead and shade that to gray. There you go. And then just the third tab as well. That one result, that was a fluke. That was a total fluke. That should have, actually, no, I, I take that back. That, 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 the, the, the custom conversion is set up. You're running conversion ads. So yeah, that one came in. 
but you should have had 100. Yeah, it came in in less than 24 hours. I thought, man, I was like, boom, yeah. okay, I'm set. Yeah. So it's been, yeah. I don't even know where I could see the date on here, but it's been, it's been over a, I don't know, I guess about a month. Yeah, that's that's fine. All all we gotta really do, man, is 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 clear up. But here, let, let's go back to. So let's X out of this real quick. X out of all those blue, one selected, one selected, one selected. Just X out of all that. And then also, what you want to do as well. And and I'm gonna just I'll just show you this real quick before we um, go on to the next one. But um, and really, there there really is no next one because. He, Based on how you set everything up, you did run it the right way. Actually, no, that's what I was going to touch on. I was going to touch on ad sets. So I'll get, I'll get back to ad sets. But other than the ad sets and how to really run the ad the right way, which I'm going to share, I'm going to share with you how to do that. But other than that, other than that, it's that landing page. That landing page got to go. The landing page got to go. The thank you page got to go. And again, I'm going to keep it real with you. If it was, if it was really good enough i tell you i would tell you i would t i don't even care about kartra i would tell you stay with what you're doing if that was a click funnels page and it was legit and it looked good i would say dude, uh -huh. st stick with it but i'm telling you straight up that page got to go the landing page got to go that thank you page got to go it's not going to convert <laughs> at all like it's not going to convert at all like you got one but that was that was a lucky one like you ain't you ain't gonna see no more like that those pages it's because of the pages so that's where i see the biggest issue it's not the ads um but then again, I am going to put you on game and I'm going to show you how the real way you should be running these ads. But other than that, which I'll show you right now how to do, other than that, it's those pages. It's those pages. And so that's why I'm trying to tell you, man, everything can be done through Kartra. Those pages, your email automation, and the calendar if you need the calendar. But um, for sure, those pages need to go. But, but real quick right here, let's click on that green button real quick. Hit that green button. And then, and then let's just go through, let's just go through a, an example of, of, of an ad of what I'm saying. Here's how you want to run these ads. So go ahead and click on conversions. And then as it, as it drops down, you're going to see campaign budget optimization. So scroll down. Okay. And then, and then hit continue. So right here on this page, right here. So after you hit continue, it's this next page right here. So right here, you'll scroll down and you'll see CBO. So scroll down right there. So campaign budget optimization right here is what you want to shift on. You want to turn that to blue, that gray circle, turn that to blue. And this is where you set the budget. So your $5 a day, this is where you would set the budget. So scroll down. What you would go with is you would go, you would go lifetime budget. So you'd go lifetime budget and, and, and it, it equates to the same dollar amount. So, so that's another thing. If I was running five bucks a day, like I mentioned for 30 days, there's 150. That's a daily, that, that's daily at five bucks a day. But if that's the budget, I'm going to go lifetime budget 150. So I'm going to just change it. All I'm doing is I'm changing, changing the way it's spent. That's all I'm doing. Okay. It's the same dollar okay. amount. I'm just changing how it's spent. Okay. I hit 150. You know, so, so, and then click on show, show more options. Okay. Show more options and then just scroll down. And then in that, that's pretty much, and then you're good. Okay. So, and then you hit next. So that's where the budget goes. Lifetime, go 150. And especially in the beginning, because you don't know exactly the cost per lead just yet. No one does on the first time around. Running into a cold market, running ads for the first time, you don't know what your cost per lead is. That's why a lot of times when people say, oh, David, you know, what should I spend on ads? It's like, dude, you have to kind of be willing to spend at least a couple hundred up front to figure out what your cost per lead is going to be. And then once you figure out the cost per lead, then you could budget. Then you could budget. Right. If our, you, know, you know what I mean? But up front, you don't know that yet. So, so lifetime, it gives Facebook the flexibility to spend as much as they want per day, as long as they don't exceed 150 for the month, for example, or for the week or for the next four days, I can go 150 lifetime for four days and just give Facebook okay. the flexibility to spend that 150 in the next four days. Right. 
So but do I do I just is there anywhere I distinguish the next four days or five oh, yeah, days? Yeah, yeah. We're gonna set up the calendar. We're gonna set the calendar on this next this next one. But 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 here's 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 where 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 you want to change it up. As you scroll down, go down. So there's the conversion event. We're good with the conversion event. So scroll down, and then and then we scroll down right here. So it's that start and end date. Scroll back up. It's that start and end date that you're able to set. So look oh, at I this calendar. It. Scroll up. You just passed it. You yeah, up 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 right there. So so here's what I always do in, in this case. It don't matter what time of day it is. Right now it's 2 p.m. It could be it could be it could be it could be 11 a.m. It could be 10 a.m. It could be 9 a.m. What I always do is I always set it to go live the next day. So especially right now being 2 p.m., don't don't put the start date of October 13th and have it start at 5 p.m. You need to give Facebook time. Like give Facebook time to review that ad. Give Facebook time to put it in place. And I just set it for the next day. So I would set it for October 14th, 6 a.m., October 14th. And then and then again, whatever your budget is, you just run that for 30 days. You run it for seven days. You run it for – for sure, you want to go over seven days. Like you want to be on any ad campaign, you want to at least at least go seven days. And in seven days, you'll have enough data to really know if that ad is performing or not. But here's the deal. That's why I'm going to put you up on game. I'm going to show you the next level. I'm going to show you the next level on how to run these ads. What everyone does, so whatever the whatever the whatever the calendar date is there, okay? Whatever it is there, let's scroll down. Here's here's what I, I wanted was, to show you. So I, I put the start date October 14th, but it's not allowing me to change the time. Yeah, you could change the time. Just go ahead and click number one. Oh, okay. And yeah, you, you, you said six a, six a.m. Yeah, I'll go right? six a.m. next next day. Six a.m. Okay, I didn't click. realize. You gotta click it. Yeah, there you go. Okay. So, oh. so that part right there is how you, is how you would set up the, 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 the lifetime budget and the calendar. But here's what I really want to show you is, is scroll down. Here's, what, oh. here, here's where everyone gets it wrong. Well, not everyone, but, but the majority of people. Scroll back up. Now, now, the United States is what you would change for sure. Leave it on automatic. But here's, here's the detail. Yeah, on, on the United States. So okay. that's where rather than in there, I don't know if you did this before. But what most people would do, if they're targeting different locate different cities, they'll put all the cities in there. So is that what you did on the previous ad? Yes. Okay. Yes. That's problem number one. So problem number one is that you put multiple cities in that one. You want to put one. You want to put one. That's that's tip number one. Tip number two is in the detailed targeting. What uh, what most people also do is in the detail targeting. Go ahead and click on edit right there, detail targeting. What most people do is they'll put in a bunch of keywords. I think I just put two. Okay, put one. So we're going to go one city. We're going to go one keyword. Okay. And you're going to... And then you're going to complete the do, ad. Do I do that now? No, no, don't do it now. I'm just giving you the, 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 the game now. You can do this later because okay. i got to jump off in two minutes. But we yes, can always sir. chat again. If you need to schedule a call tomorrow, let's, t let's talk tomorrow. So, so just go back to my calendar and schedule another call tomorrow or Friday or whatever. But I got to pick up my son in, in 20 minutes. So, but, but this is the last part right here. And then, and, then, and then tomorrow or whenever, I can go through the full-blown ad with you and, and go from start to finish if you need to. But these are the two biggest, biggest parts to, to you not seeing a result on this. Number one, it was, it was putting one city, not multiple. Number two, it's putting one interest not multiple. That becomes one ad set. Then watch, for example, just do it real quick. Do it real quick. Put in, put in one city and then put in one keyword. Okay. And, I'll, and we'll just run through this real quick as an example, because um, you'll see what I mean once we're, once we, once we're done. So, so X out of the United States and put in, put in a city. Okay. Yeah. Just hit that X to the right. Okay. 
should just the cursor should just go right there. Recently in, in this and that's case. another big deal as well. This that that selection, those options. So if that one right there fits your 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 model, then people living in or recently in, yeah, that would fit your your moving for sure. So yeah, leave okay. that one and then just type in that city. So it's one yeah, I was city. trying to type it in, but I don't know why it's put is the it cursor the lower? No, put the cursor in there. Just hit search. Look, yeah, click right there. Should be to click right right okay, there. Okay, there it there is. It just came up. There we go. Okay, I just did Phoenix. And then scroll down. Yeah. So no, actually, you know what? Always hit the drop down. Always hit that drop down. So you could type it in, but wait till you see the drop down and choose the drop down. So Phoenix, Arizona, United States, that's the one. Always choose the drop down. Okay, and it helps the alg algorithms better. Yeah, for sure, because it populates it. It didn't populate it if you just typed it in. So so right here, you can go 25, you can go whatever you want on the mileage. Um, but but yeah, let's that's just use, let's, let's, yeah, let's leave it that, let that at, like that for this example. And then scroll down and then type in one keyword. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have at least four different keywords in mind. So pop in one right here. Okay, perfect. And you're always going with interest. Always go with interest. So not the demographic, not the behavior. Now, now again, you can always test those ones, but but going with the interest is 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 kind of you had it you had it on the on the first one. It was moving companies, and there was an interest. Oh, it was. I didn't even yeah. see that. So type it back in again. Okay. You'll see a drop down. So keep going, keep going, moving company. It was that first one. Watch, it'll come. It, sh it should pop up. Actually, take away near me. Take away. You don't need to put near me. Moving company. Okay. Go back, moving company, and see if there's a drop down. Moving company, right there, interest. It's that first one. So go with that one. In moving company. Oh, right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always go with the drop down. Oh, okay. I see interest. Okay. Subtly yeah. in the corner. Okay. okay. So that's one interest. That's one city. Scroll down. Let's move on. Let's proceed. Let's, let's go to the next. And, and, and then we're, we're going to leave it automatic and then scroll down, scroll down and leave all that the same, all that the same. And then hit, hit the next button, hit, hit the blue button. Okay. So the first step was, was, was conversions and we're going with CBO. The second step is choosing the city and going with that one interest. The third is now choosing the image and then writing out the text. So just for the sake of this example, just put whatever for right now. Grab any image and just whatever text you're not and, and go and then and then publish live. Put in a link for the learn more button and then I don't just know why this booger is. I don't know why this booger is publishing. No, it's all good. It actually, yeah, you, yeah, you want to finish it first. So let's. Let's, yeah, let's, okay. okay, so go ahead and that's the page. Okay, cool. So what it needs is um, an image for the ad. So go ahead and create ad, hit that ad setup, and then, and then create the ad or add the image. So click on create ad uh, down, the ad setup. Right here. Yeah, right there. Yeah, click on that drop down and then go with, um, you can always, use, yeah, click on use existing post. Let's just, let's just do that for the example right now. Use existing post. And then, and then scroll down. It's actually right there, select post. So yeah, you can click right there. So select post. And this is another, another thing too. When it comes to, um, yeah, click on that one, select post. I clicked it twice, but it's, I guess it's not doing nothing. So go ahead and scroll to the left. Click on the one to the left. Select post to the left, to the left, to the left. Right there, select post. Click on that one. Okay, so now choose choose anyone. Just see if we can just choose any any one of them. Okay, hit continue. And this is always good too, is to post it on the business page first and then come over here and select post. That's a good way to do it as well. Post it on the business page first. Put the image, write out the text, everything for the ad. That is the ad, it's on the business page first. And then when I come here, I hit select post and I grab that post. 
That way, when, it, when I do turn off the ad, it still sits on my business page. Okay. So scroll down. So now let's hit publish. So everything is in place. The link is already there for the learn more button, but I think you might have get quote on this one. That's fine. Just hit the publish. So here, here, here's, here's where you step up your game. Here's where, here's where the whole meat and potatoes are right here. What I'm about to show you. So as this publishes, go ahead and hit the X in the top left. Let's X out of this window. Uh, right here? In the top left. Oh. Right there, that X. Down, 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 that X right there. Pam. Yeah. Right there. Okay. Yeah, let's get rid of that. Okay, so now here's what's happening. We set it for tomorrow to go live. So this ain't going to go live anytime soon. Plus, we're going to hit the blue button and turn that to gray, and we're going to completely shut it off, and you're going to delete this one because it was just an example. But here's what it is. X out, you're on the third tab. So X out of that one selected, the blue, to the very right. X out, come to the left. X out that blue, come to the left. X out that blue. So let's go, let's go. Okay. Go ahead, exit out. Right where I'm at right now? Right there, right there. That one selected, the blue, exit out. And then X okay. out that middle one and X out the one to the left. Okay. Now let's click on that campaigns tab. Let's click on that tab. Let's come back to the campaigns. Click right there. Click on that tab. Campaigns right there. Right here. Yeah. So here's, here's where you step up your game. Here is, here's where all the magic is. Here's where the magic happens. Check that box, that first one with the blues on. Check that box and then click on the middle tab. Okay. Now these tabs are everything we set up. The first tab is the, is the, is the conversions CBO. The second tab is the city the, 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 the calendar, the, um, the, the interest, the keyword moving company, that's all the middle tab. And then the third tab is the actual image and the, and the ad, but here's what you do. Check the box to the left next to the blue circle. Here's where it's all at, man. What you want to do now is you want to click on duplicate. So what this is called is multiple ad sets you have a budget the budget is 150 hit duplicate the budget is 150 okay but what we're going to do now is we're going to tell facebook we're going to duplicate it number of copies three change that one to three so what i'm going to do now hit the arrow to the right just hit those arrows yeah, there you go you can do it that way too so hit that blue button duplicate so here's what's about to happen now I'm telling Facebook, here's a lifetime budget of 150. Now what I'm about to tell them is I'm about to show them four different cities and I'm about to show them four different interest keywords. And what Facebook is going to go out there and do is spend that 150 on these four different variations to see which one's the winner. And then whichever one is the winner, that's the one I focus on? That's the one you focus on. So rather than having all these cities in one ad set, rather than having a bunch of keywords for the interest, now we're able to break it up and, and, and now only, only, only focus on the ones that are actually going to pop. Because if you had five different cities or four different cities in one ad set, which is how you set it up the first time, you don't know which city is the one really performing. Right. But when you separate everything and you give Facebook the ability to go find that winner for you, that's how it's done. It's done by multiple ad sets. This is multiple ad sets. Now, what you right. can also do is on the third tab, so X out of this, X out of this real quick, just hit that top left, that X. Here's the publish it. No, no, just hit the X real quick. So now, Go ahead and just hit, hit close, hit close. Okay, so now, look, you don't just have one ad set. Now you have four different ad sets. And all you're going to do in, in the second, third, and fourth, all you're going to do, it's that bottom one is the master copy. The bottom one is, is, is Phoenix. The bottom one is moving companies. And that's what you'll want to title it. So don't title it new ad set actually title it what it is phoenix moving company interest actually be specific not don't write a huge paragraph write a brief description of what that is so when we look at it from this point 
I can know what that is. And then right above it where it says copy, copy, copy. I'm going to edit those. So the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in. I'm going to click on edit. No, not that one above. I'm going to go in. I'm going to click on edit. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to rename it. And I'm going to change the city. And I'm going to change the, the keyword for the interest. And I'm going to title it that. So now when I look at this, I look at first one, Phoenix. The second one, Tucson. The third one, freaking Peoria or Peoria or whatever the hell. The fourth one, whatever, Scottsdale. So I'm able to see it from this view. Now I got Facebook working on my behalf. I got, I got, I got, now I got them. Now I'm leveraging the hell out of them. I'm giving them these four different sets and they're going to go out there and find which one's the winner. And so the, that's one way, this is what you call split testing. You're split testing interest groups. You're split testing cities. This is split testing at, at its finest. The third tab, click on that third tab, ads. Here's how you do it on the third tab. That's why the $5 sure. dollars a day, click on that third tab, ads. This to the one right, here? To the very right, to the very, very right, the, the tab. Click up, 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 Oh, ad, sorry. Ad. Click on that. That's why that $5 okay. per day ain't going to cut it. You need to be, okay. if anything, if anything, again, you need to look at it 30 days. We need to change it to lifetime. And that's what we did. So now we're giving Facebook 150. If they want to spend that 150 in the next few days, well, then so be it. That was our budget. But at least we didn't wait the whole month to find out the result, right? If they spent that in the next five days, let it be, right? Okay. It, it, but, but they're only spending it if leads are coming in because that's the only reason why we're even running an ad. We're being, we're, we're being very specific. Our only objective, Facebook, the only reason why I'm giving you money, bro, is so you can convert. I'm looking for a lead. So, 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 so don't get it twisted. They're not going to just spend your money to show the ad. No, we're spending money to find a lead. So that's what I'm saying. If they spend 150 in the next seven days, so be it. At least I captured leads, but this is just giving them different variations. Now here's what you do on, on the ad set. Now we have copies. We also duplicated the ad. So here's how you test this in each one. You're going to choose a different image. So now Facebook, they're going to start running these ads at 150. It's one budget, but they're going to just break it up in four different cities, showing it to different images to see which one's the winner. And that's not even something you're going to need to micromanage because at the end of it all, they're going to spend all the money on the winner anyways. So you don't necessarily need to micromanage it in a way where, okay, let me turn off these ads because, you know, because I want to make sure Facebook's for sure not spending it. They're going to only spend the money on the winner anyways. But you're just giving them more to work with. You're giving them more images. You're giving them more cities. And you're breaking it up in separate ad sets, okay. which is very, very important. So it's all set up. If anything, if you want to just go ahead and pull the trigger on it, all you got to do is click on the middle tab and change out those cities. You're going to change out the city. You're going to change out the keyword, publish it. You're going to come over here to these three ads. You're going to change out two of the images and publish it. And that's it. Okay. If you really want to rock with it, but what I'm telling you right now, no, I'm giving you the big N-O, do not publish this because we need to change those pages. We need to change those damn pages. <laughs> so, so please set up another call. And another thing, bro, you didn't, I don't think you clicked on my link for the Kartra. Yeah. It was what you sent me in the email, man. That's weird. I don't know why. I don't know why it didn't reflect on my end. We'll figure that out. Yeah, it, but, but yeah, uh, I went into the, uh, the email and I clicked the, the, the scheduling and I clicked the link that you sent me for Kartra. Okay. It's all good. I'll, 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 I'll email them. No, no big deal at all. But schedule another call because um, – Okay. Resend, res I'm, if you want to resend the uh, cartridge thing, uh, something else for me no, to no, click. No, it's all good. I'll get it updated. It's all good. I got, I got, I got, I got flex with – I got leverage with, with the support team, so it's all good. They'll update it. They'll fix it for me in a heartbeat. But it's all good. Okay. But if anything, we need to chat again. That way we can go into Kartra and, and really hook up a couple pages for this campaign. Don't run it with that current landing page. Okay. okay. Oh, it, it takes off tomorrow, so I wouldn't – no, no, turn it off. Turn it off. Just turn it all off. All these, all these blues, just turn them to gray. Okay. Yeah. So just and turn so them all the, to gray. And so the budget that I set up for tomorrow, it won't go then? No, not if you turn all these to gray. 
So all the blue okay. in, in each tab, turn it to gray. Okay. Okay. And then we can okay. always chat. If anything, if you can, bro, if you're not in a super, super rush, if you can schedule a call for Thursday, Thursday, not tomorrow. Cause tomorrow I have a, I have a pretty booked schedule, but if we could chat Thursday morning, I, I could do Thursday. I could do Friday, whatever. Okay. Thursday or, or Thursday is fine. Uh, Thursday about one o'clock. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah. Hit I, my calendar. If you can just go to my calendar link and, and schedule it on the calendar. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you, David. And, and then we'll, we'll catch and, up and on, then, on uh, that page. The, the, the car drive, I'd like to solidify that. Cause I, I went, you know what I mean? Oh yeah. I want to make sure you get credit for that. Oh yeah. No, no, it's all good. Don't even worry about that. Don't even worry about that. I'll, 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 I'll get that handled. No, no, no sweat at all. But I want, I want to make sure we're, we're scheduled on the calendar so we can dive into that and get these two pages up and going and run these ads. Okay. I'll, so, I'll, I'll do that to, uh, I'll, I'll, uh, schedule yeah. for Thursday. Then. Sounds good, Rob. I appreciate you, bro. I'll, I'll no, talk thank to you, you David. Yes, sir. Okay, You're very yes, welcome. Sir. All right, brother. Yes, talk sir. to you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.